Hey there viewers, I know I said I'd do Super Mario RPG, but I wanted to play an indie game because it's something that's kind of dear to my heart and kind of referencing my earlier years on the internet. So I bring you Exit Fate. This is also my way of apologizing for not continuing Suicoden 5 because this is a Suicoden like game. I think we should get down to it though. It was a dark and stormy night, and SCF presents Exit Fate. SCF was actually a moderator on a forum that I used to frequent before it went down. Um, he was an alright guy. Uh, I didn't realize it at the time because I was a dumb kid, but he's an alright guy. Well, what are you doing up in Pacer? Pacing for too long. And who are you? Oh? Congratulations, blonde dude. You had twins. Good job. Well, that's lucky. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess this is, like, middle ages. You can't really plan for that kind of stuff. What? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Wait, so you, you, you figured she was going to die if she had kids, but you you did the do anyway. And, and you, you, you didn't look for alternatives. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I imagine it wouldn't. It is the year 1545. A long period of peace between the Kiergaard Kingdom and the State Union of Zelmany is about to come to an end. Despite efforts from Chancellor Ryan of Zelmany to maintain good relations, there is a mutual sense of distrust running deep through both countries, making diplomatic action difficult. The point of conflict? Helmand Island, a disputed area and a strategic position between the two enemies. Claimed by both nations, ownership of the island has changed repeatedly over the centuries. Soon, the past 21 years of Zelmany control will end as well. But this time, Kiergaard will not be satisfied with the island alone. Plans for a full-scale invasion are ready, and the royal army is stronger than ever. Under the command of the Red General Jovian Knight, a surprise attack is carried out on the port city of Jargo. This is where everything begins. It's actually a little misleading. Sorry. St. Renard, capital of the Kiergaard Kingdom, four weeks before the battle at Jargo Port City. That's why it's misleading, because we're not at the Battle of Jargo Port City. That, that certainly is a red filter. By the way, as you might notice, all the music in this game is taken from different, uh, different other video games that SCF enjoyed. And given that it's, as far as I know, the only thing he didn't make in the game, I'm okay with that. Ah, so you're Daniel, who I believe is an XP of S SCF, but I'm not exactly sure. That that one I cannot be completely sure about. Yeah, I, I imagine war would cause stress. Who's there? Oh, Angel, of course. I know Angel. Only the weak desire peace, a hopeless dream that even the strongest of men cannot achieve. 
Yeah, this music, I'm pretty sure this is Suikoden than 5, so... <laughs> this, this is my way of making it up to you. Hey, he's, he's, he's allowed to be cheerful just because his bro tag doesn't mean he has to be sad. Not that particularly. Ah yes, the travails of war. <laughs> oh yes, Daniel's a pacifist. He's also a colonel in the Kiergard army if I remember correctly. Do tell. Ah, Jovian, of course, the Red General. <laughs> Fun fact, General Russell never comes up again because I, I forgot that he was even mentioned here. Yeah, pr pretend you're surprised your friend got a promotion. Well, see, we could go there. Or, I could putz around. Oh, sorry. I, I I get I get confused with the uh, with the controls sometimes because most games I play uh, Z is confirm and um, while X is menu regardless typically Z is confirm <coughs> when in this game it's uh, C instead it throws me off anyway in here we have our first blacksmith. And I just want to upgrade the attack on uh, Daniel's sword there. Because we can't upgrade Angel. And I might as well upgrade the crit too, because it's not like I'm spending money in the early part of the game. Just to make Daniel a bit of a more capable fighter. Because, spoiler alert, as the main character, he's going to be in our party for most of the game. Um. Ah! An event! Well, that sounds menacing. Oh, yes, Bruce, of course. Yes, that's generally the talk of the town. Wow, somebody put on their snarky pants today. Wow, you can tell this guy's going to be a boss fight at some point. That, that is exactly what he called you, Daniel. Are you going to take that? Oh, snap. Well, you don't know anything. That's pretty much a given at this point. Colonel Erickson is Bruce, by the way. Daniel is Colonel Vineyard. And here we have General Kaiser Soze. He, he was also a forum member. I don't remember too much about Kaiser, actually. Because it's been so long. Kaiser makes a wonderful point. You're an idiot, Bruce.
It's not like I did anything, but... Aw, oh, now Bruce is gonna go pout. Eander was also, also a member of the forum. He was the one who, um, upkept it, I believe. But, uh, the forum's no longer open, so... Yeah. I would also like to point out that my, mem my membership with the forum lasted from 2003 to whenever it closed. Yeah, that was a while ago. And General Leonius. Yeah, we, we, I guess we used to serve under Russell. I guess he did come up once more. We are indeed here to see Jovian Knight. Yes, he's a knight, and his last name is Knight. It's not a title. Yeah. Well, I mean, y y you can't win them all, Leonius. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you do. Fun fact, that makes Eander the first legion and Kaiser the second legion. Well, I mean... Nobody can know that. You're not going to be a king. Just... Yeah, stop, stop venting at us, would you? We need to talk to our friend. Jovian was another member of the forums. He he was a good guy as far as I can remember. I rem I would like to note that I didn't interact with most of the people. <laughs> um, SCF I interacted with a few times. I was a dumb kid. But I did not interact with most of the people. Anyway, Jovian is officially General of the Third Legion. A difficult task, you say? Ah, so he he's going to be oh right, yeah, that was told to us in the in the prologue there. Okay. The Kelsinger Pass. I'm sure that won't be important. Okay, that sounds legit. Well, I guess if it's the first major battle, it might be important. Yeah, the music doesn't loop well in this game, by the way. That's, that's a minor gripe in a good game. Where's the place? Ah yes, the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it does look a little familiar with its nondescript terrain and random smattering of trees. I I don't see how anyone could remember. Ah yes, Livier. <laughs> they're I gotta talk about Levier. See, Jovian's actually really pragmatic with this kind of stuff. He's not a fiery asshole like Bruce. Thank you. 
Oh, the Almenga Empire. They're just throwing all these place names at us. Yeah, Daniel's got a point. There's a difference between defending your homeland and going overseas to fight another country. America. I suppose. See, da Daniel's a huge idealist. That is a big point of the story. I don't know. As a good friend of mine once said after chapter 12 of a certain game, anything can change. I can call Krom a good friend if I want to. Yeah, people are stubborn, but that doesn't mean you can't convince them. Why does it have to be a, a strong empire? Why can't the state union take over Kiergaard? What's the difference? Well, I mean, you guys are best friends. I'm sure Daniel would be on your side, but... What was that noise? What did you forget? Oh, that's neat. I'm sure we're not going to die horribly. Anyway, this cave. I suppose we're going to go inside and take a look time on Let's Play Exit Fate. I'll see you then, viewers.